could do. Uh, okay, so the famous one, Isaiah 40, number 31, verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary, and they will walk and not be faint. Okay, here's one from Joshua 1, nine. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Wherever we go, he is. Wherever I go, the Lord's there. It's, he's never, it's always, he's, <laughs> he's never gone. The name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run uh, to it and are safe. The name of the Lord is, the name of the Lord People say Yahuwah, Yahweh, whatever. That's The name is infinite. But yes, the name is in our hearts. So the name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and be safe. Yeshua, Yahusha, whatever. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Psalm thirty-one twenty-four. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path Straight. So when there's confusion, if you have, the, if you're at the point where you say, "I'm ready to go home. I, I can't take any more evil. It's just terrible, and I, and I, I just can't handle it." What you have to kind of say is, "Okay, Lord, I'm out of my own options. Please, you guide me now, and let me not lean on my own understanding like I've been doing the last two weeks." And you go ahead and lead me, and I'm not going to think or be self-conscious about it. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Let's not let our hearts be, my heart's troubled all the time. I have to keep praying and repenting and keep praying, and my heart is so troubled you know, at this hate fest that's going on. And you know what I mean? It's just like, it's like there's more hate now than the Civil War, but the bodies aren't piled up. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. Take heart, I have overcome the world. John sixteen thirty three. I'm just going to let that sit there. In this world, you will have trouble. It doesn't say you might have trouble. You're going to have trouble. God is our refuge and our strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear because of that. Though the earth may give way and the mountains fall into the into the heart of the sea, though its waters uh, roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging, uh, God is our refuge and strength. You see, you can't die because He's there. You can, you can't live because He's there. I mean, or you can live and not die, or you may die. But if you die or you live, it's the same thing. To live is Christ, to die is gain. So God is there no matter what happens. He has your steps. He has the time of your death. He has your trials and tribulation and sicknesses and all the things we go through. So we'll call on him in those times. And the times now are very afflictive in terms of... Uh, here's another one. Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Psalm fifty-five twenty-two. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you, for 1 Peter 5, 7. So that's just a little bit of encouragement from the very powerful scripture.